So the student comes to you and they want to know what you see in their earlier work that needs fixing, right? And you have two choices. There are lots and lots of people who think they can teach and they can't. Or at least they haven't learned how to yet. These are people who are going to explain to them exactly what they ought to be doing. And there's nothing wrong with that. That does come into play. But I then begin the student with a series of exercises and I say, I'm not, uh, not going to comment on this. I want you to do this other thing and get it back to me. And I send a bunch of other additional information with links and a PDF. And my PDF that starts my students is, uh, it's 18 pages. It's, you know, it's a thing. Actually, I think it's more than 18. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's important shit. I get the person's information. I get the person's homework back. And I see what the homework, I see, I see how she responded with proper homework delivery. And actually, it took a little while to figure out how she can get it back to me because there were some technical glitches and I guided her through and then she figured it out and she's resourceful. So that's also part of the plan. I didn't tell her everything she needed to do. I wanted to actually see if she could figure it out for herself. Which is not to say I wasn't there to help her. I was there by her side, giving suggestions and also, you know, seeing what she could do. So she got me the homework and I took a look at that and I didn't comment on that one and I sent her the next day's work. So I send her the next day's work and then she gets back to me with the homework and she does it faster, more effectively. And the second day's homework is a different way of seeing things than the first day's homework. And I take a look at that. And then I send back a message saying, okay, you now see these different ways that you can do what you want to do. And you did quite well. And of course, they're not complete. They're not perfect. They're fine as is. But you have now learned some things. And now I want you to tell me what you would say about that first piece that you wanted me to critique. What do you see that needs to be fixed there? Adjusted, improved. And the student gets back to me with a series of listed comments and critiques that she thinks she could and should do to improve that thing. And I send back a note saying, exactly, those are good. That's the stuff that you know far better by being able to take the exercises that we began with and critique yourself than anything I could have actually explained to you at the very beginning from the onset. That is giving somebody the opportunity to see from the inside what they didn't know how to critique from the outside when they first joined me. Then I can progress with her and say, so now we're going to go into these other details and now I want you to work on this other stuff. And now she has it and she gets it. That's teaching. Am I patting myself on the back? No, I'm pointing out the difference. If you give a person a fish, they will eat that day. If you teach them how, 
so that they can do it themselves. And this is the difference between what a lot of uh, online coaches and a lot of teachers you had in school when you were growing up. I know, it's, it's, it's no different now. It's just that there's more of them accessible. Some people just put you through the steps and explain to you what you need to do next. And other people give you the various exercises that introduce you to the proper tools and couple them with your ability to self-critique so that you can progress with far more deep and profound understanding of what it is you're moving forward into. There's a big difference. This really happened. This is happening this week. I just explained to you the ongoing conversations with a new student of mine, a new client of mine, just this week. See you later.